Good morning, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog, and welcome back to some more salvage hunting. You join me at 7am, we're in the yard, we're doing some locals again today. We've got 10 vehicles to collect, so we're going to do a 5, come back, unload, and go out and do another 5 again. They're all sort of around Paul and Bournemouth, but we're going to do something different today. Um, we are going to, we're going to do some chest cam footage, so give you a little bit of a different perspective. Um, I'll still show some outside shots when I'm loading the vehicles and stuff like that, but uh, yeah, I think it'll be something a bit different. Do some. I brought the uh, I brought the old chesty rig in today, so I thought we'd shake it up a little bit. It's uh, yeah, it looks like it's gonna be a nice day today. It was a bit cloudy, but it looks like the sun's gonna be coming out. So uh, yeah, our first one is only uh, a few minutes away from the yard, so. Uh, I'm not sure if it runs yet. It's a Volkswagen Jetta, but unfortunately not an old one. Otherwise, I'd be taking it home with me. Uh, it's a 2008 Jetta. So, right, should we get on the road and uh, get this day started? I think we should. Right then, once you mounted, we are ready to rock. I appreciate that you might be uh, a little low there, but that's the best I can do, really. Um, Yeah, hazards work. I've uh, I've adjusted my seat a little bit and adjusted the steering wheel, so it should give us a um, a little bit better view and angle, but it won't be great. All right, let's get ourselves out. Like I say, it's only a couple of minutes up the road for our first one, so. Get us out of the yard now on the main road. Hey, 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 hey. Waity on there. See how long it's going to take for us to get out of here. Get ourselves out in the second lane. Thank you very much. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Right then, I should leave it here and uh, I should switch you back on when we get a little bit closer. Okay, here we are, just on the approach to car number one. Uh, I couldn't get through to them on the phone, so I couldn't give them any prior notice. I did leave a, an answer phone message though. Thank you. It's going to be 10 past 8 by the time we get there. That's not too early, is it? Surely people are up by then. Right, what house number do we want? up here somewhere. Trees, oh there it is, directly in front of us I believe. Uh, I'm not going to be able to turn around down there am I? Is that the right reg? Yep that's the one.
park out here for now. Try not to block that van in. That'll do us. All right. Let's go see what the score is. Okay. Wow. Volkswagen Jetta is cancelled. Um, I couldn't get hold of them on the phone. I tried knocking the door. Um, and uh, yeah, there was no response. So we're moving on to the next one, which is about 30 minutes away. Uh, we're, we're making our way to our next one now. It's a Ford Fiesta. Um, it says it's about 30 minutes away on the sat nav, but I have no doubt it's probably going to be about an hour away because uh, it's half past eight now and uh, traffic's building up as you can see. So we'll fly on over there and uh, I'll speak to you when we get a little bit closer. Mm -hmm. Here's our Fiesta. Just had to walk back to the truck and get the boost back. There's this got a flat battery. And it's not ran for a very long time. Right, so. Fingers crossed, because we are parked nowhere near it. Oh. Not liking it. poorly right it's a long way to go Might be able to use the start motor some other way if we get really stuck. Oh, that's a heavy beast. Definitely got some flat tyres. I need a rest now. Non runner up over the cab, really, which isn't the best.
Well, that's a lot easier than pushing the bloody thing. Yeah. I could do with power steering. going to winch it about halfway up and then we're going to try and roll it the rest of the way because to winch it all the way you've got to run the cables all the way around over the top of the cab and it's a proper pain in the backside shall we say to put it very politely so I winch it halfway Then we flip the deck up. Oh, up we go. Oh, some nice views from up here. Hopefully roll backwards and not forwards. Oh, come on. Roll a bit faster than that, please. You've got a little lip to get over. Bang, into place. Absolute beauty. Put that window back up. Come on. There we go. So you can get handbrakes on. Right. Climb on down and strap it up. Yeah. Here we are over at New Milton, heading for our second stroke, third collection. <laughs> Thank you. Not sure what these roads are like down here. I've not been around this area for a little while. What is the time now? Time now is quarter to 11. Okay. So far so good. I think I did see those bus stops along here, so buses can get through. I should be good to get through. Apart from those low trees, which isn't fabulous. Good job we've got a scrapper Fiesta on the top. Right, so I think our car... No, it's not up that one. It is up a dead end. It's up that one to our right. Uh, can we get a truck up there? We could do. Uh, we'll give it a go. Put our uh, 
reversing skills into practice. Let's see how far we can go. I would just walk up and go and get it, but it doesn't say it runs. And I'm not about to push. Ford S Max down to the truck. <laughs> so we'll get a little way down here and then we'll go and investigate. side shall we leave the truck in? I'm going to go to the right hand side because there's no driveways over there. And there's lots of driveways to the left hand side so I'm just going to pull into this little lay-by bit on the right. do us for now. Right. So here is our S-Max. Starts and runs which is nice. We've heard of a winching and pulling and pushing. <laughs> that is a bit of a grubby one. But uh, what is it? Uh, okay we'll see the mileage. It's like 168,000. But apparently it uh, it gets it's got a bit of a um, a fault with the uh, with the engine and gets to about 40 miles an hour and cuts out. So time to go. So let's get it loaded. Oh, right. Let's see if we can get her get her up there. We don't cut out. Cut out. Cut out. I think that'll do us if hopefully the handbrake works. Yes. Right, window up. Get it up in the air and get it struck down. Right, that's us all loaded up and strapped down. We're going to try and make our way over to Paul now. We've got to go over to a recovery yard. Come on, get over the curb. Armrests adjusted. Ay, 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 ay,
Go. Right, so yeah, we've got about 45 minutes now back over to Paul. We've got a Ford KA out of a recovery yard, so it's probably uh, beaten to buggery. So I didn't want to record inside the recovery yard, but there's our KA. Quite a big uh, bump on the front. So yeah, just got to get it up in the yard now and get it strapped down. Got a safety strap on there. Whilst we're pulled out of the yard. And uh, yeah, strap her down. Right, we're just nearing our next car, which is a Renault Modus or something. <laughs> it's uh, not far down here on the left hand side. Busy high street. It's been slow today, slow, real slow. Everything is just, ah, oh, just takes so long today. Okay, we should be left here. Should be just along here somewhere. Ah, it's that one there, I reckon. Which means we've got to try and find somewhere to pull up. Yep. side over it. There we go. Right, let's go and see what the crack is with this one. And uh, hopefully it drives because uh, I can't park very close to it. <laughs> Okay, we've got our Renault Modus. Just haven't got my battery pack because uh, first things first, I've got a full battery. I'm just going to grab the keys before I do that. Size to lock itself. Right. Hopefully, it starts because we're not in a good position. Ah, oh, it runs. Doesn't sound very healthy, but it runs.
Right, let's see if we can get this loaded up. Definitely not sounding very healthy now. 124,000 miles. That'll do us. And here we are, just a couple of minutes away from our one, two, three, four, five should be sixth car. <laughs> Here we go, here we go, we go left here. Oh, what a day. Everything has been against us today. Traffic, just traffic, traffic, traffic everywhere. Oh, it could be worse. That Nissan Motor thing could have not driven and that would have been really bad news. But it is two o'clock now. We've still got to get back to the yard and we've still got four cars to collect after we've unloaded so yeah there is that all right what number am i looking for i know that i'm looking for a, a nissan note i can't see any numbers oh there we go oh we're really low really low Steal a little bit of curb there. Oh, 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 we've just passed it. There we go. There we go. And here we have our Nissan Note. It's a cat in, non structural. So quite a uh, quite a bump in the back, but not worth uh, not worth repairing. It's gone onto the actual uh, big crease in the body right there. All right, get the truck set up and get it loaded. Perfect. All right, strap her down. Moves on back to the yard. So here we are back at the yard. It's three o'clock. And we've got to go back out for four more. Oh, why are they parking vans along here? It just makes life difficult. Jeez Louise. Oh, and we're in a queue. Would you believe it? You have reached your destination. Well, that's it for the next hour before we can get back out again. <laughs> and we are on our way back out again at 15.30, so not too bad. The uh, Jason let me jump in front of him, so, uh, so it was all right. Wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Oh, I could do about all this bullshit, though. I'm getting very hangry because I've not eaten anything today. I've not been anywhere where I've been able to pick something up and I didn't bring stuff in with me because I thought, oh, I'm local, there'll be loads of places I can stop. Literally not been near anywhere. Normally I'd go over there, over to Greg's, but uh, that means walk, leaving it in the yard and walking over, but that would just take too much time. And time is something we have little of at the moment. 
So we're on our way to uh, a Kia dealership. Is it a Kia? Or is it Hyundai? I don't know, one or the other. We've got two cars to collect. Hopefully one of them runs and we'll get them up over the top. And we're gonna shoot out to Wareham for a big horn. We like a big horn. <sighs> Hopefully we'll be back before six o'clock, but who knows? Who knows? Here we have our Daewoo Kalos. Not bad, not bad. Needs a bit of TLC, but 2005. Very clean inside. And it has 48,000 miles. These are part exchanges into the dealership. And uh, obviously the dealership can't um, put them on the forecourt or anything, so. Go for scrap. Right, I'm just gonna uh, quickly set the truck up. I won't be doing much external uh, filming because I am literally rushing around like a blue ass fly so uh, I apologize for not being um, overly keen with the uh, different angles and stuff today but it's the way it is on busy locals all right let's drive it on up you won't be able to see very much but you get the idea yeah. Right. Clutch is a bit grabby. Oh, I just got a cramp in my side after looking backwards out the window. Right. Let's get this one strapped down and we're we'll going to get our next one. Actually, I'm going to go and get the next one now. Strap them all down together then. Pop that top deck back down and lock the truck up. Go for a wonder. There's a uh, Hyundai i20 in there, or i30. Yeah. I do really like them. Might have to look into one of them. There's daily. Because as much as I do like old and scrap cars are not very good dailies <sighs> what else have we got anything good i20s ionic a kona or oh, bmw m4 £45,000. It is nice though, isn't it? What year is it? Uh, 16,000 miles. I oh, can't see you. It's got a competition pack on it. Very nice. It's a Mini. Golf GTI. 25 and a half grand. much else anything decent oh there's another M there that's that 34 grand 235i nice all right let's go and find this high end eye no daywoo
Uh, here we are, our little day with Matiz. Hello beauty, 54 plate. Let's see if this one starts and drives, I do hope so. Oh, it's got some power. What's this one on? 50,000, just clicked over 50,000. Wow, 50,071 miles. Runs sweet as a nut. Now where's this seat? Oh, if the seat's back as far as it will go. <laughs> I forget how small these cars are. Right. Oh, these cars are clean inside. No doubt these have got full service history. Nothing wrong with them. Just been part exchanged. Dose of clutch there. Yeah, just been part exchanged in for new cars. Of course, the dealer can't put this this sort of age stuff on their on their uh, on their forecourt. So, and they can't take any warrant. They can't put any warranty on it or nothing. And these are one owner cars. We should have enough room for our for our big horn on the back. Right. You're gonna stay, you are. Fabulous. Right. Got them both strapped down now. Right. I was used to a big horn. I've been told. It probably won't go, but we'll try it. I'm always up for a challenge. Oh, I don't really want to drive into this car park, if I can help it. Oh, yep. Oh, wow. Look at us. Swimming pool down there. <laughs> nice, zoo -zoo. He's got a twisty thing on there, so he's obviously. Uh, Suffering from some sort of battery drain. Right, let's see if that does anything. Come on, my beauty, I could really do with uh, you starting for me. I'll give you a couple of warm ups on the, uh, on the old glow plugs. What a beauty. I really didn't think that was going to go. All right. Let's get the truck set up. Boost pack. Back on charge. We can get some life back into it. She's a noisy rattler, this one. Two hundred and fifty thousand miles on the clock. What a beauty! Whoa! Someone done something. 
doing very good. <laughs> right, I'm just going to stop and take uh, all the photos and whatnot of it. Okay, load her up. <clears throat> Hopefully she'll fit and stay on there. That's what we like. Stay. Good girl. Oh, that's a squeeze. That's a squeeze. Ooh. We actually had loads of room to get it on there. It's a good foot and a half left behind. Right, let's get a safety strap on. Hole in the chassis. Down. It's probably going to be water pouring out of it. I think I can feel it just starting to rain as well. Alright, I'm just going to turn the um, turn the work lights off so I can see underneath. Final collection. It's a new build and sort of none of it's on Google Maps, so I'm not quite sure. None of it's In on my sat map. A mile, turn left onto Bomari Road. Google Maps recognizes the address and stuff, but it's shown as just being in a field. So I'm hoping that it's going to get us there. Come on, Google Maps, you can do it. So this is a Volkswagen Touareg. It's um, an insurance vehicle, this one. The next left onto Bomari Road, then turn right onto Arbor Gardens. Left. Leading to Arthur Gardens, that's what we want. Take the next right onto Arthur Gardens, then your destination will be on the right. Number three, I think. Oh, it's a bit tight round here. Your destination is on the right. Thorag SY08. Is that the reg? SY08. All right. Let's go and take a Ganders. So here is our VW Touran. It's not bad condition actually. It's got paint transfer on all the corners, but apart from that, 113,000 miles. Needed a jump start. All right, let's get this one reversed up the last one of the day. That'll do us. Let's get that 
boost pack off. Right then, let's get out of here. Skedaddle. I'm not quite sure how, but... I didn't quite see if there was enough room to swing it round the opposite way we come in. Hopefully we've got some room. I do want to start turning now, but there's a car next to me. Otherwise I'm going to take out all those lovely cones behind me, which I really don't want to do. There we go. You can just about see. Although it's pretty dark. What the heck is that? Is that dodgy, uh, dodgy drain? I didn't like the sound of it. <laughs> right, let's get past these roadworks so that I can get a bit of a swing around them. There we go. All right, now hopefully we'll be able to get around them without taking the cones out. Although it's going to be tight because of that road sign. Yeah, didn't even touch them. Right, so we've got a 20 minute drive back now, we've got a 10 minute drive, 10, 15 minute at most. Drive back to the yard. Then we'll uh, get these unloaded ourselves. Luckily they, they all drive, so. See, how long did it take us to load those four compared to those five this morning? That is mental. It left the yard at half past seven and got back to the yard at three o'clock. So that's what? Say eight o'clock, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, one, two, three. That's seven hours to do five cars. That's how bad this morning was. And now it's just taken, we left there at half past, left the yard at half past three again. Half four, half five, half six. Three hours to do four. And it took seven hours to do five. That's crazy. There we go, how did you like that? Seven o'clock, I am not used to doing this many hours in one day, it's been a long time. Last time I'd done this sort of shift, I was uh, driving an Arctic. But, take the rough of the smooth, you have good days. I think yesterday I was back at the yard at three o'clock, so. Swings and roundabouts, as I say, good with the bad and everything else. So, yeah, I thought we'd try something different, do some more uh, chest rig. Uh, camera. I've, I've not done that for a while. Um, some of you might like it, some of you don't. Let me know in the comments what you thought, whether you'll see more chest cam, um, whether you prefer it with the camera over my shoulder mounted up here. Yeah, let me know. If, uh, if enough of you enjoy it, then I might do some more, or I might not, because it feels so good to get that chest rig off after wearing it all day. <laughs> anyway, um, I've got to get home because I've got an early start tomorrow because I'm off to Gloucestershire. 
Um, so that'll make a change from doing locals the last two days. Um, looking forward to it. So I shall be in the truck at 5 a.m. tomorrow morning. Not really early. Early for me, not 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 early for everyone else. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe for plenty more just like this. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one.